Here, welcome back to MotoGP 20. What's up, you guys? Pika Forty Gaming here. Welcome back to Moto GP Twenty Career Mode Episode Four. We're going on to the Jerez Spanish Grand. I'm gonna call it the Spanish Grand Prix. I didn't realize Hello it was and Spanish. Welcome to the Jerez de la Frontera circuit. Just a few more minutes before the Moto Three race at the Spanish Grand Prix finally begins. The skies over the track are clear of clouds, and the latest. It was a long weekend for the Moto3 riders, but finally the showdown is here. We are coming to you from the starting grid. There's just a few minutes to go before the race begins. So here we are, Spanish Grand Prix. Round number four of the season. Here, we, There's John McPhee starting P6. And here we are on the front row of the grid in P number three, right to Fogay and somebody else. But you know, I think I think it can go the whole entire it's on the set of tires. We're on the front row with Lopez and Fogay. Now think about this right here. We got two career podiums already in Moto3 right now. I would love to win in my first MotoGP Grand Prix. Just a few Grand moments Prix to go Marquez until the start home. of the Spanish Grand Prix. Race. These riders know it will be vitally important to take the first curve perfectly. What's even better is if Marquez wins the race. Fire me like they're on. So we got eight laps of the Spanish one for you to do. Contact, there is a skull bite. Rossi, right in front of us. That was Conk out of Dennis O2 right there. The backup at the 20th place hit is Fogier, Toba, and Tonelli. It's going to take me a little while to get back up there. There goes John McPhee. He's at six. Oh my goodness. What a crap by John McPhee. I 
was absolutely horrific. Absolutely horrific crash there by John McPhee. Got my former Red Bull. Fuck. My former Red Bull. Rookie Cup. Competitor. Billy Flat. traffic right now. We're 16th right now in practice, in the race right now. Shit, honestly. down the back straight away. John McPhee. Oh my goodness, there goes John McPhee again. Close to the grass there twice in this race. Rodrigo right in front of me. Ooh, that's the third time he had that problem. There goes Benassi, he's out. Oh, there goes Gabriel Rodrigo. Oh, there's a three car, three bike pile up here. Holy shit, looks like Rodrigo's involved in this, but Nazi, he's involved in this. Oh, look at the bike flying airborne. Oh my goodness, that's a leopard. Gabriel Rodrigo's involved in that. Masia moves up a spot. We're up, we're up two spots. That's two free spots for us. There goes Dominic B again. I think he's gonna call it a day there. That's a 
That's a massive accident. That's a pretty big accident. Contact. Was there some contact there between me and him? I think I tried to get past Arbolino this time. of the Grand Prix. It's out of the race. It's absolutely a shame for the Fuge. The man who is in charge of the Spanish Grand Prix. Not believe what I just saw. Now I gotta put.
There goes Arbolino. I think he's going to run on my outside. Yamanaka in front of me. For God's sake, wait until you get to freaking Lamar, for God's sake. Rosabellino, he's down! You're 14, are you kidding me? Okay, stop cutting the corners. Moto 3 bike, I know you're better than that. If I can just come over with the 10th place finish, I'll be happy. The bogey right behind me again. That's the final lap of the Grand Prix. So it is Lopez leading the, the Grand Prix. We're on the final lap. Can we get past the Rainus maybe? The P9, maybe. Owl Rainus, what is that for, man? Okay, game. This is you're pissing you're pissing me off like you did the previous series I tried. Oh, might as well just let Foggy get by me. Marcellus, number seventy is down. No, I just want to get the words up. Bogey! Oh my god, I am so in trouble for that. If you're gonna be a little bit short, oh, don't run it in too hot. It's gonna be close. Into single lap mode. As Colette Vietti wins the race. We go Philip Slack down. We're gonna come home for P number 12, I think. 12 or 13. While the park Ferme starts to fill up with the stars of the race, we're going to take a look at the Moto 3 race. I think race we're 12. We're 12. Ranking. We're good. Okay, so Clusto wins the race, Lopez second, picking up the fastest lap as well, Nicolo, Nicolo Antonelli, Mas Masia in fourth, then it's Toba Fernandez, Garcia, and Yamanaka. 
We come home 12 with the penalty is off. Looking at the standings now with 22 behind Messia. Right now. Not what I really need, honestly, with the 10th place finish, honestly. I think a top 15 is the race go, honestly, this season. We're 22 points. That's not bad. We can... Oh, we can gain those points back. I think we were at 45, I think. See what happens. Looking at the standings, we dropped down to 5th place now in the standings. Because Leopard, Dip, uh, Fogie kept falling down, so we dropped one. We can pick, we can pick those spots back up. I think. Well, we're going on to the next round, I believe, is Le Mans. The French Grand Prix, I think, is the next one. Not sure how much I can, I quote, rebound from this position. To the mall we go. God, they don't give you enough resource points now, do they? Going on to Lamar, round number four, the five of the season. Might have lost our chances at a at a Moto Two contract. But yeah, as you can see, we're pretty much in the danger zone right now of What are you gonna do? Well we're going on to Lamar. We got Lamar and Magello. The next two events. And then we got Catalonia, Germany and Assen. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in Lamar.